You don't really know much about Halloween. And welcome to another Sinister Snacks. I'm your host, Laura. I'm Joel. And uh, we're the Newly Duds. And yeah. we are doing another snacking video from Try the World. This is a um, snack box that we received from Try the World. We're trying the rest of the snacks in there. So thank you to Try the World for sending us this snack box. Um, we actually have a discount code that you can use also from Try the World. So this is a sponsored video, I guess, is what you could call it. Technically, yeah, if technically. You go into the description in the in the uh, video. We'll have the link to where you can get a, a coupon for twenty percent off if you'd like to sign up for this. You can either sign up for one month or you can sign up for multiple months. It's up to you, but that way you get a little less expensive for a lot more stuff. Yeah. So uh, we're going to dig right in or dive right in, I guess, whatever. Uh, uh, we're going to try the beverage uh, part of the Try the World snack. Uh, so, so go ahead and open it. Uh, if, you want me to open it? If you saw our prior video for Try the World, you will have seen all of these snacks that we're about to try. Yeah. Um, we talked about where they were from, what they were. And uh, there was just so many in the box, which is a good thing that we couldn't get to them all in the first video. So we had to do this part two. We're going to try Shoka. So Shoka, Shoka, five calories for the can and it's ginger or something. When cacao fruit goes wild. So it's a cacao fruit uh, soda. So it's cacao beans and sh ginger. Somebody had some beads on them. Apparently. Oh, it's very gingery. Is that a bad thing? No. I was going to say cheers before you chew, but there's nothing to chew, so. Yeah, if you like ginger. Clink before you drink. Is that a is that a bad thing? Do you not like ginger? Oh, that is really strong. Yeah, if you like ginger, then you'll like it. It would be good um, in a ginger beer, like drink, like a, like a mule. Or if like you put a, it in a Moscow mule. In a cookie. <laughs> And, and, I feel like if you if you added it to a Moscow Mule, it'd be, yeah. It's pretty strong though. Mm -hmm. Like it's a pretty healthy ginger. Yeah, flavor. I feel like if you mixed it with something, um, like a Sprite, kind of cut it down a little bit, it would be good. It. Yeah, that's it's not my kind of flavor, but um, if you like ginger, that is the drink for you. I like ginger, but not that much ginger. Now yeah. this is one that I can tell you right now. I'm typically not a fan of. Oh, edamame. But uh, mm, wasabi. On paper, this should be something I enjoy, but I don't care for wasabi and this I don't is, really like edamame. So This is my jam all the way. I love edamame and I love wasabi. Yes. I definitely like wasabi peas, so I already know that I'm going to love this. I already went pea, so we should be good. Oh, I thought you were maybe just hand me a couple. Oh. That way. There you, you go. Can, uh oh. Yeah. Man down. Mm hmm. Somebody peed on the floor. No. All right. Hmm. Yeah, you're not going to like it. Why? Because it's wasabi. I was just trying to smell it. Mm. Oh. I love wasabi. Oh, yeah. I love that initial, like, burn you get from it. Yeah, that's wasabi all day. All mm -hmm. day. All right. That's a number three. Mm. I'll do one more just for you guys. But it goes like straight up the nose. <laughs> I'm gonna give you those two back. I did four. I did four. These are good. If you like um, wasabi. I just don't. I've had edamame several different ways, mm -hmm. and I have yet to have it in a way that I actually enjoyed. Have you had it in the pods? Like when they're mm -hmm. mm, nothing, huh? Mm -mm. I, I love, I I love like edamame. It. But uh, yeah, not yet. I'm just putting it over here because I know I'm going to eat them. Oh, that's yeah. fine. Mm. This one I'm I'm most interested about. This one is kind of like uh, like a Cheez-It looking cracker. Um, 
It feels like it's been crumpled up oh, a lot. Oh, it's definitely so a cheese it cracker. During uh, transport, I think it's gotten pretty like crunchy. Crackers with the cheddar flavor. And it looks like they're. I can't remember where these are from. That I don't. Remember they look either. like the Czech Republic or something. I know we 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 did look it up. It's in the previous video. I'll 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 track it down and put it in this video as it's well, so you guys have that information. Imported and distributed by a place in Schaumburg. Um, but but uh, yeah, it felt like it was pretty crun crunched up in there. So I don't know if we're gonna just have a lot of crumbs. Yeah. Um, but anyway, it looks like something more up my alley because I like. I like cheesy crackers. Uh, yeah, I like cheese its Like like cheese its yeah. Stop. They're just tiny. Oh. Here, I'm going to hand you a couple. Sure. Give me at least two or three or four. I'm just giving you a bunch. Give me, oh, there. They're very, very small. They're teeny, tiny little crackers. I thought they were crunchy, but they're just miniature, tiny. Oh, they smell good. They do smell Boop. like weedy cheese mm. crackers. Immediately. Yum. Yum. You know what that cheese reminds me of? Mm. Is uh mac and cheese cheese. Oh, I was supposed to shake before using. Oh no. Now we gotta try it again. Doesn't it have a mac and cheese cheese flavor? Mmm. Hopefully I'm not shaking the cheese out. I like that song. Shaking the cheese. I think it just shakes Shaking good. Shaking the like cheese it? out. It tastes like macaroni and cheese. It's good. On a cracker. Uh, 10 out of 10 for that. We haven't rated them yet. I'm just telling you. Just giving you a heads up. 10 out of 10. All right. Cleanse your palate. I am a fan of those, though. So I'll tell you yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we've got Botan rice candy. We actually saw hmm. this at, at Woodman's. At Woodman's, when we went grocery shopping, we were in the uh, the ethnic food aisle. I think is what they have it labeled as. And uh, I was like, "Hey, look, <clears throat> it's the rice candy." And so we, oh, oh, there's free children sticker inside. So oh, it's a sticker of a child. Wow. What? We got very excited. Who is that guy? It's adorable. It's like I, I don't know if you, you're not gonna be able to see it, but he is it's like a, a little horned. Mm. He's got bats and the moon. He's a spooky dude. I don't know where he came from. He's like a little dragon or something, right? I don't like know. a moon dragon. Is, that, is there only one in there? Yeah. Well, it's it's a free children sticker, and there's only for one children. I love him. Uh, I'm happy. I, I'm happy we have him. I want him. I just took a picture. I will upload it onto the video so you all can see it. Yeah. All right. And see why I'm so happy. I have a feeling this is like a a long, long term candy, like where you gotta suck on it for a while. Is there like a wrapper in the wrapper? Yeah. And it's difficult to get off. Is that another wrapper? Yeah. Or is it like rice paper no. edible edible thing? No. I'm having some problems. Are you with sure? Things. Yeah. This is the part in the video where we end it. Oh, just kidding. I don't know if that's not edible. Uh, it's it feels not. very flimsy. It does feel really flimsy, but I don't think that that's edible. Is it? It just dissolved in my mouth. Did it? Yeah, look. This is the wrapper. Oh, it is chewy. Oh, it dissolves. It's chewy. No, it not It will. We're eating plastic. We're it's talking. chewy. Hmm. It is not what I expected. I was expecting like a Jolly Rancher thing mm -hmm. to happen. And instead it, it's like a... Mm -hmm. Like a... Uh, Lotus. It's like a, a gummy. Like a now later sort of. It, Gummy. Oh, oh it does say there's an edible inner wrapper that melts in your mouth. <laughs> Botan rice candy. I know that flavor. 
It's very familiar. Is it? Yeah. It's kind of like mango-y. I just can't place it. Lychee, kind of, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. I like it, but... The flavor is called interesting. I'm going to eat the weird edible... I'm going to eat the weird... Wrapper. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. uh, I don't hate it. I love the sticker, wherever you put it. Right here. <clears throat> I mean, I'm, I'll probably eat these. I love the sticker. I like it. I think it's good. You Would like I these? buy it? Yeah, would I buy it on my own? Probably not. I'm glad you like them. Well, they're they're at um the Hoodmans. We Hoodmans. Know, not so if you them. if you got a hankering, and all right. Finally, this is the one that I say for last because I know my wife is very. I'm excited. very excited. I've Baton. got my own, but uh, we're only going to open one. Yeah, they're like coconut. There's peanuts. a coconut peanut. <laughs> I know what you want to say. Uh, caramel. Coconut peanut. Yep. Uh, looks like crunchy, uh, chocolate cookie wafer. That's a lot of words. She kind of thing. I can't, I yeah. Can't. Um, I mean, there's no English on here at all. So maybe is I'll there put any down English here, on here? Uh, what this is like the flavors, but just from the picture that's on it, it's obviously chocolate peanuts and coconut. Beyond yeah. that, we're a little at a loss. It looks like there's some sort of a cookie or wafer. Um, yes. Inside. But I'll look it up. I'll put the information on here. It'll be a little bit longer at it, but that's all right. Um, that is a big, it's big a candy bar. bar. I'm, should I just split it in half? Or just, yeah. yeah, I probably want to eat more than a bite, Ooh. maybe two, because, you know, me and coconut, we don't get along. <gasps> oh, oh, no, it smells like coconut mm. in a big way. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Uh-oh. It's good. That means I'm not going to like it. Mmm. That is mm. rich with coconut scent. Hmm. What do you think? Well, try the world. I'm going to tell you. Overall, this has been a fun little adventure. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry it took us so long to get to the second video, but um, this, I mean, all things considered, in the whole box, I think we've only had one thing that we might not actually finish, which is the ginger drink. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm doing the second just because I always try and take two bites. So I'd say, you know, 90% of the box was a success. Yeah. And you don't even hate that, I don't think. It's got... If there wasn't any coconut, I'd be happier. Yeah. I love coconut. If she... She's like, if there was more coconut, she'd be happier. Um, so I'll, I'll still consider that a win, even though I'm not going to be the one to finish the other one or eat the other one. Mm. It's more for me. But um, I would say, all in all, if you are looking for snacks from around the world and you don't want to have to go find them on your own and you just want them delivered to try your door, fun. Mm -hmm. try the world. Get your 20% off coupon down in the description. Yeah, worth um, it. If you have trouble finding it or you need help, contact us directly. We'll be happy to get you a code and we'll send it out to you. Contact at thenewlydeads.com. Uh, you can find us at thenewlydeads.com for all of your needs for mm -hmm. Newly Deads. We have six new bits of content that come out every single week, so lots of stuff out there. Um, anything else I'm forgetting? No. I mean, I would say that um, out of 10 out of 10 or whatever, like for fun, we had fun doing this. Yeah, I would uh, I would consider doing it again at some point. It makes yeah. for interesting content for, you know, not a lot of money. So. Yeah. All right. Anything else? No? All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. And until next week. Let's quit yakking and get back to snacking. See you later. Festival of Sauron. Happy Halloween.